Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now it's the beginning of October and I thought it's about time that we headed over to my dad's allotment to see what's going on over there. Hello. Hello. You've come to have a look at your allotment. My potato yield. Oh, that's all your potatoes? Well, it is, yeah. As you know, at the start of the year, I planted some with manure, some with manure and pot potash, and some without anything. Um, my potatoes from that side, kestrel, were rubbish. I don't know what happened there. They seem to die off very early. Um, you harvested them a while back. Didn't yeah, you? yeah, which is which is peculiar because apparently Kestrel is the best potato for this site. These are Cara. Um, what those three rows? Yeah, the, these two were um, with manure in the bottom of the trench. What what I did, I, I scooped out a trench about six inches deep, put a layer of manure in the bottom, put the seed potatoes in, nine across there, which is ten foot, and then obviously filled it back in. Um, they were just manure. They were manure and potash and they were without any fertiliser at all. The ones on the end were late going in. They went in there. They were late going in because I had my purple sprout and broccoli there. So they were about a month after those. So that was I think two the best ones with are these manure. With, yeah, two with manure in the bottom of the trench. Two with manure and potash. And then... And these without anything at all. Okay, so the Those are a ones. little bit short because I dug up two plants this end and one plant that end a long time ago. So the manure ones were the best? I think so. There's not a lot of difference between these two, but I think these just got a better yield. Ah. But it was very dry in July, I think, or else I would have got a better yield, a bigger yield. But, so um, you're just letting them dry now in the sun? Sorry? You're just letting them dry now in the sun? Yeah, yeah. And I'll uh, put them in a sack. Ah. My carrots that I planted early are nearly finished. We've had quite a lot out of there. Some quite. Quite big ones, some mm, whoppers. They've been good, haven't they? But they're getting a bit sparse now, but I've got some more over there coming on. And These are got my parsnips. Parsnips. Um, I don't know what they're like. They should, oh yeah, they're not bad. About that at the moment. And then I've, these are my other carrots that I put in. Oh, I don't know, was it about a month ago? Six weeks? No, more than that, not They need thinning out, really. But they're not a bad size. <laughs> it's like a jungle. There's a lot of greenery. Let's just pull one out. Oh, that's not bad, is it? Mmm. Eh? Nice. That'd, taste, that'd be tasty, that one. So what I do, I just pull out, you know, just space them out a little bit when I pull, pull these out. Thin and them out and the others eat will them, yeah. Be able to grow a bit bigger. Ah. That's not bad. I've got this around to protect it from carrot fly. Yeah, we always use that, don't we? Yeah, seems to work. Mm. Other people say they get a lot, lot of trouble with carrot fly, but um, I always put this around. We've never well, they had were any trouble, the, have we? In the hoops, that's why they're a little bit domed. Right, leeks. These are the leeks. They're, um, they haven't been in that long, and they're doing quite well. I've got some more leeks over there. So they should be ready about springtime, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. My brassica bed behind, that's the winter one. That's coming on oh, well. I can't really see through this stuff. No. <coughs> Brussels sprouts at the end. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, cow, savoy cabbage. Can't see through that. I'll uh, try and get the net up. <coughs> Should have this pegged down, I only had bricks at the time. They've still got a fair bit of ground to do, I think. Yeah, quite dumpy, aren't they? Yeah. There's some sprouts growing on But there's a there. few sprouting up over us, sprouting. Yeah. But there's a few growing quite tall over at the some back. sprouts growing on these ones. Yeah, they are quite dumpy, aren't they? Look at that sprout there. Very dumpy, short and fat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should be okay for Christmas, shouldn't they? 
Lovely. A little bit of white fly on them. So you've got uh, sprouts, kale. Kale, uh, savoy, January king, savoy cabbage. Only thing is, I think they're about ready now. Uh. Some have gone to seed. So, hopefully they'll still be there come the winter. Things are starting to slow down now, aren't they? So they should last. And oh, there's yeah. a lot of cabbages there. There's only so many cabbage you can eat. Really. Yeah, so you much can just see through there. Blimey. This one's a summer bed. I've got the swede in there, though. I've got some small cauliflowers coming on there. I haven't had much luck with cauliflowers. I've got some very small ones, so I expect they go to seed the same as the other ones. But can you get? Can you have a look? See, very small ones. Oh yeah. I think they're going to go to seed. They're, they're too small to do anything with, aren't they? Really. <laughs> and a few greyhound cabbage there. Uh, a lot of those were eaten by the slugs. Yeah, we had the same problem last year, didn't we? Yeah. I've got two summer savoy there. Which isn't bad since it's sort of autumn now. <laughs> Again, there's a lot of cabbage to eat in the summer. Isn't it? So your sweet corn's out now. Got some more leeks there. Yeah, you took all your sweet corn up. Hey? Took all your sweet corn up. Yeah. Yeah, that was all around that pumpkin, wasn't it? That's my Atlantic giant. It's not very giant, but um, I didn't really feed it at all. Um, squash haven't been very good at all. No, it's been a funny year for squash and pumpkins. I've got it? about five at home, but there's only another five there. And last year I had 31, 32. Yeah, over 30. Yeah. The peppers, they're not bad. These two were overshadowed by the sweet peas, which used to be there. Oh, there's another squash there. Still growing that one. Oh, those Hopefully. two chilies. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some more leeks. Beetroot's not bad. Might be getting a little bit big. You're the only one that likes beetroot, aren't you? Yeah. That's the uh, Choggia variety, which is red and white. And when you cook it, it tends to go a little bit white, so I'm not too keen on that. The runner beans have been very good. Still some there, a little bit stringy now. Oh, the runner beans have been really good yeah. this year. Considering the, there's not very many there, um, they were the stringless type, the moonlight. But they look a little bit stringy now. It's because I haven't picked any for a long time. Um, I've got a little bit of rocket that's been um, nibbled. Had a lot of caterpillars on there, that's why I put this fleece over the top. I've got a couple of lettuces in the other end. Um, is that a Rosso lettuce? A Lola Rosso? I think Something so. like that. That's what, oh, I've got some Swiss chard in there. Remember I bought a little punnet from Garden Centre and it was completely full up with Swiss chard. Yeah. So much it was difficult to separate. That's all from one? Yeah, from one little me. strip. Um, very difficult to separate and I had to break the roots in some places. But they're all, there's one or two that aren't going to come through but Hopefully they'll grow a little bit. I think they were reduced at the garden centre, so I thought I'd just try them. Got right. some dahlias, haven't you? At the yeah, the dahlias have been quite nice, haven't they? Really nice. Well, I've got some, uh, still got some lettuce under there. And some mizuna and there's some rocket and uh, radishes at the far end. Um, I had to put this on because the uh, pigeons were... We haven't tried mizuna before have we? No, no. Oh, we had a, yeah, I grew some over there next to the peas. Did didn't you? have much of it because it went to seed and the uh. caterpillars got it. And the caterpillars were after this as well, that's why I put the fleece on. And the pigeons. Uh -huh. um, it's my compost area, I don't think you've seen that. No, we haven't, not it's finished. Um, yeah, it's all finished apart from the grass. Ah. I did seed it quite heavily, but I think the pigeons have got the seed again. But um, that's compost ready to go. And that's obviously fresh greens. And at the end, it's uh, some leaf mould. 
So that's all coming on. And nice. that didn't cost anything, did it? No. Make? No, no, that's all old pallets, obviously, and a bit of old scaffold board that mm, I had. Very good. All my water butts, they're nearly full up, I think. Oh, because there you've got three and they're all joined together. Oh, they're about they? there. But they only went up in the spring, didn't they? Well, yeah. in the summer, really. But they're all joined dry. up, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. My flower, my flower tub. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not looking its best at the moment, obviously. But um, I'm going to do the same again next year, I think, because it, it, it did look quite nice. That was just spare flowers that I agree, wasn't it? Yeah. So maybe you can, I don't know, put some tulips in I might grow some of my own. Yeah, well you could put some tulips yeah, in there. Yeah, put some tulips in there for the spring. Isn't Good idea, nice? my clematis. That was a little bit late going oh, up yay. as well. Just made out a couple of pallets. And the only other area got left was a little bit embarrassing is the uh, greenhouse area. Oh, this area. Which I still haven't cleaned or cleared. Uh, but hopefully get to that over the winter. That's going to be a much. big job to clear, isn't it? I don't... well... A couple of trips to the tip. Got to do something with that uh, old strawberry bed there. Shouldn't be too bad though, I don't think, because it was all quite level yeah. before it all went on. I mean, that's in the wheelbarrow, isn't it? And there's a bucket full of stuff there. The so you're hoping that the greenhouse will be up next year? Yeah, yeah, that's a job for the winter. Because there's not going to be a lot to do on the plot, is there, in the winter? No. So that's about it really. That's my plot in the autumn. So that will probably be the last update over on my dad's plot because not a lot's really going to be going on but we might pop over to say hello every now and again. That'd be nice. Uh, but for now that's it so we will see you next time. Bye then. <laughs>